Welcome to Short Shot Archery. Today we're going to be building a riser together. Uh, the riser I will be using and building will be the MK X10 riser. Um, it's an ILF riser, and uh, this is going to be a whole lot of fun building this together with you guys. So let's get started on what you need. So the things you need: rubbing alcohol and Q-tips. Um, that's good for cleaning off your riser in the areas that you may adhere things to. For this build, the only thing we'll be sticking on is the arrow rest. Uh, we'll be using a Shiboya arrow rest. Next up, we'll be using a biter clicker. Um, for right now, I'll be just using a uh, M4 screw that came with the riser to attach the biter clicker to this riser. Um, I made a little mistake when ordering a clicker. I ordered it for an American bow and not for this MK bow that came from Korea. So the American bow uses an American screw where the MK bow uses a metric screw like the rest of the world. So little mistake on my part but I'll just be ordering another one. For now though this M4 screw is going to do a great job um, securely uh, fastening the clicker to this riser. Uh, next up, next tool you're gonna need is some sort of uh, Allen key set and probably a uh, Phillips head screwdriver at the minimum. Um, MK provided all that here so we won't need uh, a lot of tools laying around. It's all in this nice block. Uh, speaking about blocks, uh, we have our mounting block for our sight that'll be going on the back side of this riser and the screws to attach that. And last but not least, the clicker plate will be attaching that to the riser as well. So, first off, let's go and do the easy ones because I would say putting on the arrow rest is kind of the hardest part. Yes, you want to make sure it's straight, but you also have to clean the riser off. So let's get done touching the rest of the riser first before we go and try to stick on the arrow rest. That way we can avoid bumping into it while it, uh, you know, adheres. So first off, we're going to install our clicker plate. So we got our, our plate, we got our screw, put those together. And then we have the right size Allen key already out. And very easily, we're just going to put one finger on it and screw it into the mounting hole on the riser. Now we're going to make sure that this is nice and snug. Uh, we don't want to go you know, too crazy, we don't want to like strip the head or anything on this, but uh, you know, make sure it's tight. And yes, it is nice and tight, it's not moving anywhere, it's looking very good. And <laughs> on to the next part, putting together a riser, at least the components that are going to allow you to shoot this riser. Um, are very simple for the most part. So this is going to be a really straightforward build. Okay, so next up, we're putting the clicker on. Um, I'm going to readjust this a little bit, I believe, because we want to make sure it's the right height. Yep, looks good. And we're going to put the screw right in the middle there. Now normally, for the biter clickers, they have a wheel. But, as I said before, I got the wrong size. So, uh, my mistake. Then, take our Allen key and screw that right down into the mounting hole on the riser. Now, um, there are some clickers that do have an adhesive on them, um, which is fine to use, but if you're buying a higher-end bow, they should all have mounting points for a clicker to be screwed into them, already built into the riser, so that you shouldn't have any need of buying a clicker that has an adhesive pad on the back. So we got that uh, tight for now. It's not it's not moving anywhere. Uh, again, not too tight. Um, we're gonna do some adjustments on this clicker's uh, placement when we actually get this bow strung up and tuned up and ready to shoot arrows. Next up. We're going to put on the arrow rest. So what we need here is some rubbing alcohol. Um, I'll be using 70% rubbing alcohol. Um, you can use the 90 too. It's just a matter of getting the surface area clean. So you want your rubbing alcohol on your Q-tip and you're just going to clean the area 
that uh, you're going to stick your arrow rest on. Now, since it's rubbing alcohol, it's going to dry extremely quickly, and you should actually, for the most part, be able to watch it dry um, as you put it on. So that's going to be really convenient. So once you see that it's dry, you're going to take the adhesive off the back of your arrow rest and carefully um, stick your arrow rest to your riser, making sure that it's uh, relatively straight. Now, of course, a higher end arrow rest is going to have some adjustments and things like that. So if it's not perfect, you have one of two options. You could adjust the arrow rest itself or take it off and probably put on a new adhesive backing. Um, either way, though, you want to be you know, relatively accurate and consistent with putting this arrow rest on because it is where your arrow is going to sit and your plunger is going to stick through this arrow rest. Now, as an additional tip, if you would like, and personally, this is how I prefer to do it, you get your biter plunger. Well, I'm using a biter plunger. You can use whatever plunger you like, but you insert it into the back of your riser, screw it in. This way, it's already going to pre-line up the hole that you're trying to match your arrow rest to, because you see that hole in the arrow rest? Well, your plunger is going to fit in between that. Well, if you don't have your plunger, uh, you know, pre-installed, because it's not tight or anything, it's just sitting there holding its spot. If you don't and you're off on the placement of your arrow rest, you could end up having to re-adhere your arrow rest to your riser. It just makes a, a mess out of it. Now, hey, if you got good accuracy and you can get it right there first try without blocking the hole, then hey, good for you. But uh, this is pretty much a, a more surefire way of getting it uh, done correctly the first time. All right, we got the backing off. So, I have it lined up. Conveniently, it's really neat about this riser. However, they, they go through the milling process. There is lines that run on uh, the riser itself. So I lined up the arrow rest with those lines. I have it right in the middle of the plunger. And now all I have to do is press down and, it's, and this arrow rest will be stuck to this riser. All right, there we have it. We're good to go on the arrow rest. Um, personally, you probably shouldn't just go and throw limbs on this and shoot arrows out of it immediately. I would give it a, a little bit of time, um, maybe a half an hour, um, before you really start you know, using this arrow rest, just to make sure everything sticks. It's you know, a sticky adhesive. It's not, you know, it is a, a type of glue, but it's not like you're putting you know, crazy glue or something on your on your riser. Um, so I would just make sure that it's nicely pressed down and then just give it, you know, about a half an hour before you really start using it. Of course if you're at a tournament and you need an arrow rest then go for it. You're more than more than welcome. But just uh, you know from personal experience. Um, last but not least, we need somewhere to mount our sight. So we have our sight block we have our two screws. We're going to go and switch to the Phillips head screwdriver. And now we are going to install the sight block. Ta-da! And there you have it. A fully set up bow. We've installed all the major components. The only thing we're missing now is limbs and a string. Of course you can go even further and put a stabilizer on it and of course you need a sight. But other than that we have now set up a riser together. So I hope you enjoyed watching and uh, hope you learned something here or at least gave you an idea on what to expect when putting together your new riser. So thank you for watching and as always happy shooting.